It's seven days of spring tablescapes and it's also Tablescape Tuesday. So in this video, I'm showing you a formal table setting and how to eat soup. I thought, you know what? There's just so many weddings coming up and some of them are more formal than others. And what if you have soup at the wedding? What do you do? Which spoon do you pick up? So in this video, we're gonna cover it all. Keep watching. If you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. Or if you want to see reviews about products that can benefit you in your home, subscribe because I do videos on those topics all the time. So hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. But definitely check out the show notes in the description box below because that's where I'll link my favorite housekeeping and gardening solutions. Okay, let's jump into it. So you can see I've already started setting the table. I've got the centerpiece on the table and I just wanted it to be clean and white and fresh and just as clutter-free as possible. So the table is going to be set for four. And I thought I would use these plates, this Noritake Ivory China as my charger. And I am just using some off-white linen napkins with a little silver bling on the side. And I've got the table service set up as formally as I can. My table is small, so I just set it for four, but we can still get the job done. So let's see what I've got going on here. So right here is just a simple place setting. And here I've got my soup spoon, my teaspoon, and then my service knife. And of course my dinner plate. Here's my dinner fork and my salad fork. And right above the plate is my dessert utensils, my dessert fork and dessert spoon, depending upon what we're having. So dessert utensils up here, soup spoon, teaspoon, dinner knife, dinner fork, and salad fork. Over here is my bread plate. And then over here, we've got our stemware. So I've got my water glass right here, right above the knife. I've got an all-purpose wine goblet here, which is, in this particular situation, will be used for red wine. It's got a larger bowl. So we use a larger bowl stemware for red wine because it's more bold and full body. I've got this smaller bowl stemware here for white wine. And then here is a little champagne glass. So your stemware forms kind of a triangle with this three above the knife. And then your champagne glass is going to be in front of that. And this is kind of a traditional size champagne glass. So I thought it would be fun to set it up this way so that if you were going to a wedding that was a little bit more formal than what you were used to, you would know what the different pieces were and how to use them. So next, let me show you what to do if they serve you a soup course. So now you're at the table and they're about to serve the soup course. So what do you do? Well, first of all, your soup spoon is going to be the biggest spoon with the largest bowl and it's going to be to the outside. And as always, you're going to start with the utensils that are furthest out and work your way in. So soup spoon first and salad forks over here. So let's get our soup served. The soup is served directly on the charger if it's in a wide flat bowl like this. And then you pick up your spoon, that's the largest one, and on the furthest to the outside. And when you eat your soup, you want to scoop it away from you. So like, imagine that your plate is like a clock, and 12 o'clock's at the top with 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So you're going to scoop the soup toward 12 o'clock, bring it up to you, and then... And you take the soup off from the middle of the bowl. Not the tip like that, but like this. So again, scrape the soup across the bowl. That way if there's any drips or drops, it's going to land on the charger and not on the front of your shirt. 
and then just bring it up to you like that once you're done put the spoon in the bowl now that's what happens if you've got a flat soup bowl like this let's let me show you what you do if you have a smaller deeper soup bowl now if your soup is coming in a smaller bowl like this and a deeper bowl these soup bowls will come with their own plate with them and they will be set down on the charger and you eat the soup the same as usual you scoop it that way scrape it against the top of the bowl and eat it from this side of the bowl but with a small deep bowl like this you don't leave your spoon in the bowl you put your spoon on the plate like that now that we've finished the soup course we'll serve the salad snack so I'll just place the salad plates on the table as I would for dinner And once the salads are served and partaken, we would remove the salad plates and bring out the main course. So let's do that. So we'll take away the salad plates. Keep it in mind that I'm using these plates as the chargers. So now the dinner plates would go on top of those and the main course would be served. And I just think this is so much fun. It reminds me of playing fancy dinner party when I was a little girl. We used to learn how to set the table at Girl Scouts and then we would practice it at home and I just love doing this kind of thing. And my dinner plates are Oxford Bone China and the pattern is white echo. The ones that I'm using as the chargers are Noritake Ivory China. And then again we'd have bread dinner rolls over there. And then once dinner is done we would take away the dirty dinner plates and serve coffee and dessert. So we'd bring the dessert out and set it in front of our guests. And I've got these sweet little Ray Dunn plates that just say eat. And I thought they would be perfect just to add a little bit of whimsy to our formal table. Those will go on top of the charger. And then your dessert fork to eat your cake or pie is going to be right above. Or if your dessert was something else, like maybe some kind of a souffle or mousse or something like that, then you would sit that right there in the center of the plate and you would use your spoon to eat whatever that was. But we're having pie. And cheesecake. See guys, I'm actually 10 years old again and I'm imagining all kinds of fun stuff. I just love this. Now let me get the coffee. And they bring the coffee over and by this time some of these goblets would have been removed. And you just set the coffee right there and serving that coffee with the dessert. So wasn't this fun? Now let me go ahead and just set the table now. Let me just lay it out um, as I would if I was just setting the table up for a tablescape. And I'll be using the wide soup bowls to set it up. So let's get that done.
And you'd bring the coffee out with a dessert because there's just not room on the table for all that flatware and stemware and just cups and saucers. There's just not enough room. I think that's it. I think this is our formal tablescape. And this is just another version of a formal tablescape compared to the one that I did a couple of days ago. And I like this one equally as well as I like the other ones. And so if I was going to have a little champagne toast to the bride and groom, I'd use that. And then a little white wine or a little red wine, etc. and water, that kind of thing. encourage you to find occasions to get out your good china and use it because if you don't use it for your family and friends who are you saving it for so get it out and have some fun and if nothing else play fancy dinner party with your granddaughters because I'm going to do that when they next come to visit So what do you think? What do you think about my formal tablescape? What questions do you have either about the way I set the table or how to eat soup? Tell me in the comment sections below. And before I go any further, let me take this opportunity to thank Dana at Biddy Boo Brown and Tammy at Tammy Thompson TV and Lori at Creative Lori and Pam at Creative Homescaping for hosting these challenges the seven days of spring tablescape and tablescape Tuesday. I mean, it is Tuesday and I'm still working on my seven days of spring tablescape. And this was just a lot of fun. As I said earlier, I do love to play dress up and I love to play fancy dinner parties. So thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to do that. If you are not familiar with Lori or Pam or Dana or Tammy. I will link all of their channels below so you can check them out. Each person is completely different, but they have a lot in common because they all love tablescapes and you will find some very interesting tablescapes in the playlist. So there will be two playlists, one for seven days of spring playlist and one for Tablescape Tuesday. So be sure and check them both out you'll find lots of creative tablescapes there. And if you are into comfort food, my macaroni and cheese recipe is to die for, so I will link it with an I card above. And if you like meatloaf, my meatloaf is mwah. So I encourage you to check it out as well. I'll put an I card above. And then of course, now we're ready to get started with gardening. So I will link my spring gardening series from last year below and with an I card so that you can kind of get your groove going and then as I start getting my spring gardening series for 2019 together you can come back and visit. And just so you know I've raised three children, I've managed a home for more than 45 years and I am a nurse by profession so if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.